I am Isis, connecting with Rosalie. We speak with you today on the power within you that all must embrace at this moment. Have you felt the difference of your instant answers when you ask Spirit for some guidance? Not necessarily in words, but in signposts. Your body is not the same as it has ever been. Have you noticed this? This is what has been the biggest hurdle for Rosalie to jump over. However, she has, and now she has come out fighting, telling her body exactly what she needs it to be and to do. We will watch, all of us, for the results. Sometimes there are situations, objects or people who are exactly stunting their spiritual growth. Be aware of those that are no longer of higher purpose so you can further your journey to the new earth. Planetary change is a symbol of Mother Earth's own spiritual growth. I bring you this message with the subject matter of change because it will become very noticeable, not just in your life, but the lives of your friends and the planet. Mother Earth is growing as you are as she is releasing the pain and suffering that she has experienced in the past. When Mother Earth releases negative energy in exchange for the positive love of the Creator, the old energy is blasted out from the Earth and into the universe. Many spirit guides in the universe are at hand to soften the effects of energy that Mother Earth lets go of, but sometimes the effects are out of their control. The releasing of energy can affect the weather, creating floods, storms, climate change of tornadoes, hurricanes, tidal waves, earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. As light workers, we must not blame Mother Earth when these disasters strike, as she is doing the best that she can as a protector, nurturer, and home for the human race. Mankind has been so loving to her, has not been so loving to her in the past, and now she is releasing. As many light workers are, the pain of her past to create a pure, higher vibration, future for her souls and the souls. Incarnated on the earth, judgment and blame from mankind will only hinder her growth. Each of us is connected, and negative attitudes will only hinder the growth of all souls and the universe. All to journey until you are reunited with the light and love of the Creator. Each level and initiation that you progress to will require you to release a part of your old self to welcome in the pure divine soul that is your true existence. In order to transform your being, you must accept change as a positive quality that should be embraced by all. Change will be evident in the future and it will be a part of your spiritual growth. Ah, my bright light workers, continue to radiate your light across the land smoothing any changes that the planet Mother Earth and the people of the Earth experience in this future. Volcanic activity, earthquakes and super hurricanes are occurring 
more often. And if global warming has created the phenomena and the popular, sorry, sorry, not popular, of course, the polar ice caps are melting. Solar storms and their resulting winds are spraying the planet at a rate that has never been recorded. This is undeniably an incredible, monumental transformation of global proportion. The planet's frequency is increasing and our concept of time is speeding up. The planet is being prepared to vault into the fourth and fifth dimensions. The new ascension grid is increasing in frequency as the magnetic grid is lessened. The dual complex is evolving into a trinity matrix. A crystalline frequency is being transmitted to the planet. This validates the prophesied change in the grid system and the work of the magnetic master of Cryon. So even though this powerful exercise was done in 1212, it can be done again today. We can all be part of the new crystal formation, that crystalline 144 ascension grid, one of the most meaningful avenues available to us in the ascension process is coming together as light workers and earth keepers in ceremony and unity to awaken all humanity and bond with the living earth, the living cosmos, by generating and directing awakened loving energy. So by concerted efforts to support and give light to the ascension grid, we accelerate both its activity and our own into activation. So the planetary ascension grid is a manifestation of the energy evolvement and pattern growth of the universal consciousness. Earth is a living Gaia, the grid is her aura. Sacred geometry is the language and fabric of higher dimension, higher consciousness. Accordingly, the grid contains the sacred geometry, energy patterns of the golden, spiral, the platonic solids, the flower of light, and the crystal matrix of creation. There are particularly powerful on the equinoxes, solstice, and trinity numenic frequency dates. When light workers and seekers visit these sites, they are able to align themselves to the crystalline grid trinity to anchor themselves to this frequency and to activate their hearts to the activation of the ascension grid. So by unifying our energies in synchronized static states, we form a powerful light vortex. This energy can cleanse, brighten, energize and activate each one of you according to our intent and flow. Our intent is light of the highest order transferred to the new grid, the new crystal matrix of Gaia, the 144 crystal vibration. So the activation meditation is the way to do it. So if you'd like to join me, I will do this slowly in this activation meditation. You can come back and listen to it, but I would like to take you through it right now. So just relax. Just close your eyes. 
the exercise for energy, connection, transfer and activation of the ascension grid is as follows. Just find a place to sit or lie. Breathe very deep and in rhythm. Visualize diamond light energy coming in through the crown chakra. Send it down through the spine, through each chakra and back to the heart. Now flow the energy in a beam, a corridor of light energy into the core of the earth. From the core of the earth, visualize the white light energy flashing into an infinity of light frequencies feeding into the crystalline 144 ascension grid. Experience the ecstasy and allow it to flow through you. Allow the frequency of your body and mind to meld into and adjust to the frequency of the 144 crystalline grid. If this is done at a sacred site, power point or grid point, visualize receiving this energy and then connecting it through your heart to other sacred sites. And back into the ascension grid. Visualize weaving the vertices, points of the geodesic sphere. Through our creation and transfer of diamond light, joyous energy into the crystalline 144 ascension grid we simultaneously activate ourselves to be in oneness alignment and in frequent unity with the heightened energy of ascension as such we are better enabled to flow with the quickened energies of the ascending planet, we become loving channel, channeling columns of light. We connect as one beam of ecstasy. Each participant is a vortex, a point of light on the globe, 
one with another, one with the ascension, creating, co-creating the frequency of the new planet Earth toward the highest good. We are a microcosm of the macrocosm, a point of light in the bursting infinity of light. We are love and are love. We become part of the 144,000. We are the rapture, the ecstasy. Beautiful. Time is indeed speed, speeding up and will continue to do so. As such, it is recommended that those of you who wish to adapt to the frequencies take better car care of your physical vehicle. We recommend you spend more time in quiet meditation and tap into the frequency of the conscious grid. Follow the meditation exercise we offered the channel. Your higher mind is fully aware that it can melt with these frequencies and as such help you adjust to the increasing frequencies of the Herald Ascension. We also tell you that the body physical and the human etheric body can more easily adjust to the crystalline frequencies through the use of higher frequency coarse crystals and the multi faceted Vogel crystals and specific gemstones. Certain of your gemstones, especially those that are single refractive, have the ability to slow speed of light. Your scientists know this. Recommended single refractive gems are diamonds of at least one carat and garment, garnets of over two carats. Now as your ascension completes itself you will have a greater access to the multi-dimensional aspects of yourselves. In truth, for some of you, the ascension has, for the most part, already occurred in terms of multi-dimensionality. Do you understand? All of you are so close. I wanted to speak to you with these encouragement to give you more possibilities for your journey to our new earth just waiting for your leap of faith. I am Isis with Rosalie, wishing you all great divine happiness and blessings. I am always at your service. If you need me, just call. And I, Rosalie, wish you all such many blessings and so good to be back. Namaste. Love you all.